North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, just as he has in the past years, made his New Year's address today and laid out plans for 2019. He urged Washington to take reciprocal actions to the regime's efforts, but also pointed out he's willing to meet with President Donald Trump anytime. Kim also stressed inter-Korean cooperation should deepen further. Seoul welcomed the remarks. Oh Jung-hee starts us off. North Korea is willing to start a new relationship with Washington, but that has to be done through joint efforts by the two sides. That's the message from North Korean leader Kim Jong-un on Tuesday, January 1st, through his annual New Year's address. Kim stressed he's willing to sit down for a meeting with U.S. President Donald Trump at any time, but added he can't help but look for a, quote, new way if the U.S. doesn't keep its promise and forces Pyongyang with sanctions and pressure. The North Korean leader also called on South Korea and the U.S. to stop their joint military drills and deployment of strategic assets. He said these raised tensions on the Korean peninsula despite the two Korea's promise for peace and prosperity. Kim added multilateral negotiations need to start among the parties concerned to transform the current armistice status into a complete end of war. Meanwhile, Kim Jong-un expressed that inter-Korean exchanges and cooperation should deepen further in the new year. He urged the two Koreas to put their power together so that no external forces nor sanctions and pressure can get in the way. 당면하여 우리는 개성공업지구에 진출하였던 남측 기업인들이 어려운 사정과 민족의 명산을 찾아보고 싶어하는 남력 동포들의 소망을 헤아려 아무런 전제 조건이나 대가 없이 개성공업지구와 금강산 관광을 재개할 용의가 있습니다. All in all, Pyongyang is hoping to resume cooperation with the South in fields that will require sanctions relief, and experts say the key now is what reciprocal measures Washington can offer. South Korea and the U.S. need to agree on what Washington can give to Pyongyang for dismantling its Yangbyon nuclear facilities. And in those corresponding measures, Seoul needs to include resuming the Kaesong industrial complex and tours to Mount Kimgangsan, as well as rail and road connections, so that South Korea's interests can be reflected as much as possible. Seoul welcomed Kim's New Year speech. The presidential office spokesperson assessed that Kim's speech yearns for an improvement in inter-Korean relations and North Korea-U.S. relations and added this will have a positive impact on resolving the Korean Peninsula issue in the new year. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.